Aphids are small insects that feed on the sugar sap which circulates on the phloem of plants. They move to the young leaves and stems of the plants and insert their mouth stillet in a phloem vessel. As the sap in the phloem is under pressure, it enters the digestive tract of the insect with ease. When the insect is full, the sap can even start leaking by the other end. Ants usually farm and protect aphids, as they can feed on this overflow of sap. In the spring, the young leaves can become infested, as asexual reproduction produces several generations of aphids very quickly. In a process called parthenogenesis, a female can produce offspring without being fertilized. They give birth to live young, producing several generations of clones, all female, that feed and grow while the conditions are right. Winged females can appear and spread the infection to other trees. In the end of summer, sexual reproduction can occur to produce resistant eggs that will overwinter to begin a new cycle in the next spring. Aphids can be seen in the early stages of the infestation in the young leaves on the tips of branches. As their numbers grow, more and more leaves start to curl up, causing wilting and sometimes even die back of shoots and buds. Apart from curled leaves, the presence of ants on the plants is a good indicator of an aphid problem. At this stage, there is nothing of interest in a young shoot for ants to eat, so, their presence is a sure indicator of an aphid attack. In the absence of natural predators, as several generations of aphids appear, the farmer has to step in to control their numbers. There are several options to control aphids. You can use potassium soap or other kinds of soapy water solutions that will desiccate the insects and can help control their numbers. You can also use neem oil and other kinds of organic insecticides. These are usually oil-based and most insects are susceptible to oils. So, some products used for other insects can also work on aphids. All these solutions can be mixed with water and sprayed on the affected plants. Be sure to spray the underside of the leaves where the aphids are. Nevertheless, when the infestation is widespread, it may be necessary to use an insecticide. Contact insecticides will not reach the inside of the curled leaves, so a systemic one will be needed. Even when spraying an isolated more sensible tree like this one, always use protective equipment. Avoid spraying if the bees are on your trees, as almost all of these products can affect them. Some insects will be killed on contact. Others will ingest the product through the sap and will die later. Try to use products with low half-lives, which dissipate quickly, and mix them up to avoid insect resistance. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share and comment to support the channel. Click the bell to receive notifications of new videos.